Okay, this is a. I'm going to use a revolve cut. It was a little tricky, um, but you start by selecting the axis of rotation. Now we've got two circles drawn in this sketch. Okay, and by default it selects both of them, but if you want to go just select one of them, open this, select the contours, and that gives you the ability to select just one. And, you know, you'll see this is clear through, so, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a, you know, blind or not. Um, I'll just select OK, and, you know, then we're done. You know, but that same concept applies to, let's do an extruded cut. Um, you know, I could select a, well, shit. Oh. Anyway, I could select the sketch. What the fuck am I in sketch edit mode? Um, you know, but like I said, by default, it tries to select both of those circles, which we don't want. So, you know, you go down to this thing here, uh, just like on the other command, and, you know, so you don't select both circles. So our original circle you know, has this original curve profile to it, where this is a straight extruded profile. But anyway, that's handy to remember that little thing that was confusing me for a while. Okay, and this is an example, you know, I've changed this length from 8 inches to 6 inches as an example of why you wouldn't want to, you know, um, not define your geometry um, with respect to an edge of a part. Um, you know, this hole here is, you know, if you want to look at it, you, know, you can kind of see, you know, it's constrained to that corner, whereas this one's just constrained to the center. So the circle locations don't change as the part size changes. I already knew that, though. Okay, we're going to have some fun with sketches. Create a sketch on this plane here. <sighs> Okay, and I'm going to collect the offset features, which will bring, you know, features from other geometry into our sketch, so we can, you know, project them to our plane. So, I'll select that top surface, so it brings this rectangle here, and I've already added an offset of half an inch to it, but let's go ahead and reverse the direction so it takes that in, and that gives us a place where we're going to place some screw holes, a guide for them. And by the way, I created this hole, you know, with the, um, you know, with the hole wizard. So, and it's just a like a custom counterbore uh, drilled hole. Okay, what I did is, you know, I drew one sketch on this plane on this face, and I drew this other sketch on this plane on this face, and you know, we're in the cut extrude command and I started by selecting this line and that made it go this way and I had to change the arrow to point up you know I just had to click on it and then I went and you know uh, selected direction one or whatever and selected that line so that'll create a cut so that's how to do that <laughs> 